occasionally the wheels may fall off during this process. Avoid that. Junior engineering major Austin Truex is out taking a few test runs with his creation, which he has named Thundercat, before the big competition. He and partner Michael York, a junior criminal justice major, are taking part in a rat trap competition for Gary Lockwood's engineering technology course. The spring of the rat trap can be the only source of power to move the creation forward. You uh, take the twine, you put it around the axle, wind the axle up, and in theory it's supposed to slowly move forward as it propels this forward, and then eventually uh, the twine will run out, it'll snap, and we hope that this uh, card will prevent it from hitting the floor, causing a brake effect. I just hope it doesn't break before it starts going. I'll be happy if it doesn't fall apart. And it seems to work well and it makes a good distance, so hopefully Thundercats hope. There are 14 students in Lockwood's class and they are working yeah, in two-person teams. Whichever design travels the farthest wins the competition and gets the best grade on the project. Applied management major Wes Spencer and his partner think the length of their design will make it the winner. Uh, so we had a long pull on the string, so more revolutions with the, the uh, string can pull on it, you know, we go, we were hoping. Before the competition begins, Lockwood has everyone line up in the Brazy Hall gym. Then he has them release their rat traps one at a time. Truex and York are the first to compete. Ready? But not everyone has the same success. <laughs> However, when Spencer releases his project, the competition heats up. In horse racing, they might call this a photo finish. Lockwood decides to declare them both winners. But just like in professional racing, there's always room for debate. Move! Versus an engine versus a surveyor. He went further. He went straighter. I'm Sherry Russo.